Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thank you very much for joining us on this uh, second edition of the month of September 2020. Of course, you see, it's our pleasure having you again uh, despite the economic challenges, despite the coronavirus pandemic that is ongoing with all its difficulties. Just stay strong and, of course, be positive because things will get better sooner or later. Nothing is permanent. So with us today, uh, we are having Mr. Ngum Eric is a political observer and we'll be talking issues concerning the the declaration of uh, the president of the MRC party he will be accompanied by Mange Vinashus as usual we are always happy having him accompany the us good evening to you Erin Goldman thank you for honoring our invitation it's a pleasure having you again once more good evening and a good evening to all the viewers out there Mange Vinashus you're welcome good evening Vanessa and Thank you to our audience who are always there for us. Really thanks to them, all of them watching us in every nooks and crannies of Cameroon. Let us take the first part of the show, that is the questions. Once more, you are welcome back. The first question, is there any reason why the political class in Cameroon is divided over Camto's declaration? Eric, I begin with you today. Yes, there is a reason. There is. Mange Venashus, what do you think about that? Uh, there is a reason when it comes to politics, there is Vanessa. When it comes to politics, there is a reason. And is it advisable for regional elections to be organized in the two crisis regions? Eric? Yeah, there's a reason. Is it advisable? For it should be advisable. It is advisable for elections to take place in Northwest and Southwest. All right. Mange Venashus. I share the opposite view, Vanessa. It is not. It is not. Coming up next, let us take the debate. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting interesting. Eric, once more, your welcome on Viewpoint, uh, the evening debate program on DBS television. So, I will turn to you. Why do you think that uh, there is any reason why uh, the political class is divided over uh, uh, Camto's declaration of uh, let the head of state solve the anglophone crisis before uh, we hold regional elections, failure without which he is calling for a nationwide protest? All right. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to share views as far as this declaration is concerned. I want first of all to recall that Professor Maurice Camto's declaration of the MRC party is just view. You know, we are still in a country where every citizen has the freedom of expression and freedom of uh, right to communicate. I want to think that if uh, Maurice Camto have declared and threatened the president that if the crisis in Northwest and Southwest have not been resolved, then he's going to call Cameroonians to come out on the street to demonstrate for a, no elections. It is crystal wrong at this moment for Maurice Camto to be telling us that we shall come out on the street if President Pobie still continue to organize or uh, reg regional elections. elections? Mm -hmm. Why calling us now to demonstrate on the street for elections? Why the same Northwest and Southwest has been suffering for close to four years today? That same crisis. We have not seen Professor Maurice Camto calling for mm -hmm. the people of the French speaking to come out and demonstrate that President Paul Bier should resolve the crisis. I want to think that other political parties like that of or the SDF, I, I heard the, the, the parliamentarian for Duwala 3 saying that he is strongly in support that if the president of the country does not solve the problem of Northwest and Southwest, they will not organize elections. I think that it is time for them to discover that the president of the country, President Paul Bier, is using the crisis in the English speaking zones to grip the power right down to the roots. If they boycott elections now, what will happen? The election will still be taken huge free. 
is going to be taken his free and it will be adopted that of the uh, the parliamentary elections parliamentary elections maurice Camp told declared and boycotted what is the impact now the impact is that the supporters and the followers of Maurice Camto are not having any representative at the level of the decision making. Mm -hmm. Three thirds of the seat of the parliamentary seat that has to do with decision making are owned by the ruling party, CBDM. It is a blow to the political parties to be pretending that they are boycotting why they are indirectly giving all the seats to the ruling party. And I want to think that this is the time when the political parties, we expected them at the level of presidential elections to form a coalition, come together mm -hmm. in such a way that they could now remove the president on seat. I want to, what is disturbing them? It is greed of power. Everybody wants to rule. If they boycott, they will not stop the election. Okay. Let's watch and see. If they boycott, they will not stop the election. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to say is that Cameroonians should be aware that any street demonstration, if it is not peaceful, what will happen? The innocent citizens are going to go down for it because the laws of the country, of every country, is the law of the president st still on power and it is not questioning in Cameroon. Let Cameroonians sit down and be responsible and go for voting. Only vote will change power. Mm -hmm. I cannot advise Cameroonians to go out of street because they have seen what have happened in Northwest and Southwest. All right. And so it, enough it, of killings have happened. Him, the president, uh, uh, the Maurice Camto party of uh, MRC went out on street to demonstrate for election malpractice in 2018. 18. What happened? He was arrested, locked up. We only had petitions, petitions, petitions that they should release him. What about a common man that was arrested alongside with Maurice Camto? I want to tell you, you still find out some of them are still lavishing in, in jail. This is not the time. Cameroon is too, too, too intense with a lot of crisis. This is not the time we expect any political party to call for Cameroonians to come out on the street. Any peaceful form of demonstration it has been clear in Cameroon that it cannot work. Mm -hmm. The military will come out and what we have is only a pen and voices. To speak. See, uh, 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 uh. Mbia is going to send out his military. They are there to work for him and to protect him. Who is going to come out for Maurice Camto? Nobody. Let's be wise and uh, let's know that politics is a game that politicians are using us to be to get to where they want to go to and this is the time i want to say that the time we were waiting for political parties to make noise was the time when they were to organize presidential elections to come together and say okay we want to cry for cameroonians for that reason we forgo or we forgo our private interests and come in for the interests of the people from and a our, coalition, and from a coalition. Mm -hmm. if they are backing now we are talking of election that is insignificant whoever they put there is still working under the umbrella of the president. If regional delegates are being put, I want to tell you, even they organize the elections and the regional delegates are elected, not representing majority of the CBDM, another position will be created that will place the regional delegate under as subordinates. And uh, those that will be at the top, they will merely be appointed. We are in Cameroon now and in the situation where only God is going to remove us from the shame. Politicians have failed. I want to refer to, uh, to Professor Mar Maurice Camp to that if he wants to learn politics, he should copy the ways of Cabra Libby. Okay. Politics is not noise. It's action. It's action. Thank you very much, Ngum Eric, for that very insightful viewpoint of yours. Man given issues, your observation, man given issues, your point of view. You think that uh, there is, uh, or maybe there are reasons why the political class in Cameroon is divided over this declaration. Uh, what I took note from Eric's point of view is that uh, uh, the president is using it, this Anglophone crisis, as a means to harness absolute power in these regions. Well, that is what. Uh Mr. Ngum thinks. That's what he, that's his view. Mm -hmm. But then asking about uh, 
why political parties in Cameroon are divided over uh, Maurice Camto's uh, declaration. I think that it is the Cameroon political uh, you know, landscape that has portrayed the fact that uh, politicians are not out for the good of the people. It is a fact that they are out for their, uh, for their own interest. They are not out for the interest of the common good. Because if they were out for the interest of the common good, I think that this is the time that we put the common good and verify. Cameroon is at a very sensitive, very crucial moment that we need just a, spl just a flint of flame that will set the whole country ablaze. If we have to start talking of protest at this time, we tend to get others supporting the idea that they should protest and others not supporting the ideas. I think it is they are supporting the idea because of the interest they have and they are not supporting the idea because of the interest they have. Remember I said polit that Cameroonian uh, politicians have proven to us that they are there for their own interest, for their own selfish interest. So there is a conflict of interest uh, on it both sides? It is a conflict of interest that is playing on this issue. It is not as if uh, those who are yeah, condemning the, the, the fact, of those who are condemning the fact should not claim that they like Cameroon more than those who are uh, supporting the idea. The whole issue here is the, the issue of interest that they are putting to play. Vanessa was asking a question here that uh, when we hear of political parties, when we hear of opposition parties, and we call them of the presidential majority, I cannot condemn you and I support you. I cannot oppose you and I support you. What is the, when we look at these political parties that support uh, the ruling part or that support the regime in place, and we call them opposition, they are not opposition parties. They should redress. They, we can call them, uh, you, know, you know, they can, they can be non-governmental organizations that support that supports yes, the, regime. The, the regime in place. Or they can be organizations that support the, 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 the regime, not political parties. If you are an opposition party, you are opposing a regime that is in place. You cannot be be for and against at the same time. So I think that it is the point, the question of interest here that is at play. Because when Maurice Camto says people should go out and protest, and a member of the SDF party like uh, 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 Mr. Ngumbo was saying, Honorable Nature thinks that this is high time that Cameroonians should go and uh, and. and oppose and, and protest on the streets. Whereas with the SDF party itself, when because we will follow what the vice president sure, says, so mm -hmm. they are uh, encouraging Cameroonians to go and, uh, when well, we are talking this in the context when we were still in August, mm -hmm. because he was encouraging Cameroonians to register uh, on the electoral registers so as to vote mm -hmm. for upcoming elections. Mm -hmm. Which means the SDF party is not for the option to boycott, to elections, boycott elections. Which means the SDF party is not for the option to protest but when a member goes out and says they should protest he has his interest it is just like the other parties who are of the opinion that Maurice Camto should not because the interest here is if he should go out on the streets and protest when we look at the consequences of such an, well, action, such an action Vanessa there will be too too much there will be too much at the time that Cameroon does not need it now like Mr. Ngumbo was saying, we have serious crises that are threatening the livelihood, that are threatening Cameroon to its complete, to the, to the roots. Complete collapse. Co co complete collapse because we are talking about secession here. Instead of fighting to see how we can safeguard the country, I don't think that the Anglophone crisis started in 2020. Maurice Camto went in for 2018 presidential election. That was his interest because he wanted to be the president. Mm -hmm. He would have refused because by 2018, the Anglophone crisis would, would have been on two, two years. years. Mm -hmm. He did not ask Cameroonians to protest that there should be no election before we solve. Now, Maurice Camto is faced with a situation where he knows very well that he does not have regional uh, 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 electors, electors who will go in for this election because he does not have councillors. And without a councillors, he wants to bring in this confusion. And when, what, what we are decrying is the consequences of the confusion will be too high. So that is why, when you look at it, his interest now does not count. That is why he wants that, even if it means at the expense of the lives of Cameroonians, we should go to the streets. So, because he has nothing to lose. He has nothing to gain. 
but then in 2018, when he was vying for the presidency, he did not, he forgot the Anglophone crisis. He forgot to call for the president to reform the 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 the, 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 the electoral court in Cameroon. He went in for the election, and today he still bears the name president elect. President elect during which election? Because we want to cancel an election, we would have started counseling an election from 2018 when he wanted to be the president. <laughs> so I think that the question of interest here, that's why I said Cameroonian politicians have proven to the world that they that, are not out for us. Yes, that they Cameroon are, politics private interest. Cameroon politics is for their selfish interest. It is not for the common good of Cameroonians, Vanessa. Thank you also, Margaret Ashus, for your viewpoint. But let's not forget that uh, everything lies in the hands of Cameroonians. Go to the polls, register on the electoral list, and decide who will be your leader in the future that is the only thing that we as Cameroonians we could do so take the decision take the power at hand is it advisable for regional elections to be organized in the two crisis regions Eric you think that uh, is advisable looking at the face of all this crisis of uh, insecurity plaguing the whole country of the coronavirus that has come again to cause the economic hardship and make things difficult yet you see think that regional uh, elections should be organized in these two regions the northwest and the southwest region yes uh like i said i'm i'm standing on my opinion that elections should be organized in northwest and southwest why the principles go governing elections says that the regional delegates will be elected all over the national territory, northwest and southwest inclusive. Therefore, it is but, but true that the election should be organized there, even if it is one person that will succeed to vote. Let me tell you, Madam Vanessa, when they say people have won election 100 percent it does not mean that 100 people voted, voted. Mm -hmm. we 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 brought in this concept that elections should not be organized in northwest and southwest for in the uh, parliamentary or mm -hmm. uh, the elections. Elections. February February between between elections. elections good what happened sdf have taken over all the councils right down to our village you mentioned they have taken over all the councils now what happened it is not because the population voted it is because of the people that were available at that time let elections be organized there even we get just one seat of our choice in the chief town of bamenda the chief town of kumba where people are available i prefer that the elections should be held in as much as our government have proven to us that they can only respond when there is pressure. We still emphasize that they should put an enabling environment where the election can be organized in Northwest and Southwest. If we boycott elections now, or we are saying that elections should not be organized in Northwest and Southwest, it is insignificant. They will vote at army barracks in Bamenda, and it will be declared that election was successful and he's free let's take this as an advantage to gain what we said we want to because what our regional uh, delegates here they are out to facilitate the decentralization process where power can now maybe live from yaoundé and come down right down to our corridors i think that it is time for us to accept and put an environment where the election should take place okay because even we don't vote we all know what will happen the vote will take place we ignore the elections that it should not take place people did not come out and what have happened we have surrendered all the chair we have surrendered all the power to the ruling party i advise sdf i advise the party of maurice Camto, cabral libi they should put an environment where they can have vote in northwest and uh, southwest that is my own opinion mm -hmm. people will be talking about insecurity yes insecurity is threatening it is worsening but then if the president must organize elections let's go there and vote all right calling on the Cameroonians in those regions to go in and vote despite the security threat in those regions my governor shows your point of view is contrary Elections should not be organized in these regions. Actually, Vanessa, we should. When we talk of regional elections, one thing is clear that we need to make it 
uh, openly here that uh, it is the councillors that are supposed to vote in this upcoming elections whenever the electorates would be convened. The electorates concerned, the, 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 the voters are councillors of various uh, councils in, across the country that will form the regional council. Now, when you look at the situation in the northwest and southwest regions, it is an open secret. It is an open secret that, well, I hope that the head of state is aware of it because I have the impression that the head of state is, you, you know, they, 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 they feed him with wrong information. It is an open secret that he needs to know that elected officials in the northwest and southwest regions do not live in their councils, in their municipalities. They don't live there. Everybody knows that they, 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 they don't, three quarters of them don't even live in these regions. And for the few who have the courage to do, they live in the, in, in the regional headquarters in Boya and Bamenda, in well secured environment. They ca I know of councils that you don't have the mayor. The mayor has never entered the council since he was elected in February. They are existing. It's the same thing with councillors. We, we all know that. We all know that. Where will they sit to carry out the elections? Vanessa, when we talk about election, we talk about the legitimacy of those elected. We have a country of close to 25 uh, 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 citizens, 25 million, million. citizens. Mm -hmm. If we have to look at those who, uh, those who have uh, attained the voting age in Cameroon, they are about 19 million. If we have about 19 million, we, and we are going to elect a president, and we are talking about 6, six million, million that elects, that's... in a normal democracy, there is something wrong. Because six million, let's just say all of these six million, all of them will vote. They will, will vote for, for the, the candidature of the president or, or, or of the, the ruling party. Of the ruling party. <laughs> Out of these six million, compared to nineteen million, is insignificant. In a normal democracy, such an election should be cancelled, because the majority of the voters should participate in the selection of a president. We cannot have a president who is being voted by six million to rule twenty-five million people. That is what we call legitimacy, legitimacy of an election. Now, when we organize an election in the northwest and southwest regions, where we know that most of the electors are not there, is it that on the election day they will be ferried in to their municipalities through helicopters and armored cars, as has always been the case, to go and vote? And after that, you come back. What is the purpose? Or maybe what is the function they'll be referred the in another region to vote there. Okay, like the case in South in Southwest region yeah. where they were ferried to Chang yeah. to go and to vote, vote. Mm -hmm. and then they go back. To, then they carry the information that has to go back to their municipality. Then what is the reason there? The Frenchman says, what is the reason of the election when we elect a regional council that will not because if the electors, uh, 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 if the electors are the the, the the councillors, it means the regional councillors will come out from the from the councillors. Mm -hmm. And if these councillors do not live in their municipalities, it equally holds true that the elected representatives that will form the regional council will not live in these regions. What is the purpose of the elections? Vanessa, we want to say that the outcome of the uh, major national dialogue was nulled or is nulled and void in this country. One of the, one of the, one of the recommendations of the major national uh, dialogue was the special status that was to be accorded to come to the northwest and southwest regions within this special uh, status the traditional rulers have a major role to play now these traditional rulers they equally have a major role to play in the regional council elections that will be coming up anytime soon it is another open secret which i don't know whether the head of state is aware of or, or not that these some a majority of these uh, traditional rulers are not in their are palaces. Not in their palaces. Of recent, we have the Minister of, the, of Territorial, Territorial Administration, Administration who had a meeting with them in Yaoundé convening, to convince them to, to go, go back. back. They are convincing rulers to go back to their people to rule them. Which means if they go back and the conditions are not favorable, they will come They'll back. Return. Now, if they come back... The question is, how many of them have gone so far? That is the point. Mm -hmm. How many of them are convinced to go back? In, 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 and when they go back there and they are elected, they participate in the election because they are supposed to, according to the, to, to the text governing the regional election, mm -hmm. traditional rulers have a majority, a, 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 a good portion mm -hmm. to play. If they are not there, how would they, they, they carry it out? Is it that we are trying to say that the question of the, uh, of the special status has, no, has, no, has nothing to do in the northwest and southwest region. If that's the case, then the major national dialogue, we are saying that it was a failure. But then, if we want to maintain that the major national dialogue had something to do in the ongoing crisis, 
then we have to wait with the elections in the northwest and southwest region because regional councils do not come from Yaounde. They will be ruled, they, they, they will take care of the development of their region. Let us solve the Anglophone crisis and, and elections in these regions are organized. We can organize elections in the other eight regions. And while waiting to, 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 to organize to, elections in, in the two regions, regions, once the crisis died down, the president of the country, the president of the country have not yet fixed a date for elections. The president of the country have just announced that there will be an election. That is why I'm for the fact that should it be organized, the people of the English speaking region should go in for that election. When we're saying the people, let us be open here because what the people we mean here is the, the councillors mm -hmm. who do, do not, not live, live in, in this region. And, and, that, and that is now that is now why I say the elections will take place. Why? 80% of the council the councils in northwest and southwest are owned by the ruling party. So even we are that they will not hold. They know how they will transport their councillors to go and carry out the elections. And that is why we talk about the legitimacy of that <laughs> election. Are they there for the ruling party in Yaounde or they are there for the people? If you want to be serious about elections in this country, then we should put the election and hold. Solve what disturbs these councillors from going back to their various municipality. Then allow them to go there and carry mm, out the vote in a, leg in a legitimate manner. Because you, we are not talking of going to build something. something if it were a presidential election that has no problem but this is the election will have an influence a bearing in that particular municipality and those who are supposed to carry out the development in that particular municipality are not there then there's something wrong so i think that we need to put the election uh, on a standby in these two regions solve what is disturbing the election and then Life continues, Vanessa. Thank you very much, Mange Vinashus, Erin Kum, a political observer. So, uh, to those watching us at this particular moment, what could you tell them? What could you advise them? My only advice to young Cameroonians and uh, all the politicians that are playing drama in Cameroon is that it is time for every politician to know that they will give an account for whatever thing they do in the name of the interest of working for Cameroonians. We are watching, and. Uh, I advise all the Cameroonians youths that they should not be discouraged, but rather they should remain focused that this country, it is our country, and uh, troubles will come and they will not stay forever. Troubles will come and they will not stay forever. Thank you very much for your contribution on the program today. And to you, Mange Venashus, thank you also for your contribution. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the package we prepared for you on this midweek edition. Stay tuned to DBS Television for more interesting programs are coming up. Do take care and stay safe while respecting the various barrier measures of the coronavirus pandemic. Good night.